है द लास्ट कैप्सूल वॉज ऑन मैंस्ट्रल डायरी लॉर्ड ऑफ पेरेंट्स ऑफ एडोलिस गर्ल्स थैंक मी फॉर दैट एंड दिस सेट इट इज़ वेरी यूजफुल सो टेकिंग दैट हिंट आई थॉट आई एल पुट फॉरवर्ड अ सीरीज ऑफ कैप्स्यूल्स टारगेटेड एट दैट ऑडियंस एडोलिस गर्ल्स एंड देयर पेरेंट्स so this particular capsule is going to be on the menstrual cycle a cycle is essentially a circle it starts on the first day of your period and ends on the first day of your period on an average you would expect a circle or a cycle or a menstrual cycle to be about 28 days we would divide these 28 days into two a 14 days first half and another 14 days second half The first half is or the first 14 days is known in uh, medical terminology as a follicular phase. This is a time when the ovary has a follicle and that follicle grows and so therefore we call it a follicular phase. The second half of the cycle is called as the luteal phase. And this is because the ovary which had liberated its egg called ovulation on the 14th day will then produce hormones which support the endometrial lining and that endometrial lining is basically waiting for a pregnancy to drop in an implant so we call this a luteal phase because the support of this phase is by something what is known as a corpus luteum so there are two important details of a menstrual cycle one is the timing another one is the flow we generally believe that the control of the timing is governed by the ovary but there's a control of the flow is governed by the uterus so if you have heavier flow or a lesser flow that's probably uterine problem but if you have an irregular periods that is the timing the cycle is irregular that probably is the ovarian problem of course if a cycle changes because of the changes in hormone levels the endometrium lining also changes and so the amount of flow you have could also change but typically it makes it quite simple to understand that if your flow is changed it's a uterine issue if the timing is changed it's a ovarian issue the ovary and the uterus play their own game down in the pelvis but these two are controlled by the puppeteer right on top and that's your pituitary gland which is the middle of your brain and that pituitary gland is controlled by one more puppeteer which is known as the hypothalamus which is a part of your brain as in a vehicle we have acceleration as well as braking similarly in this control of hormones we have uh, brakes and uh, accelerator so we have what we call a negative feedback and a positive feedback and this loops of uh, positive control and negative controls essentially keeps your periods running cyclically once every month all this control ensures that your ovary produces a good quality follicle and this follicle will liberate its egg what we call ovulation around the 14th day of your cycle and once you have ovulated the same control will ensure that the uterus lining is well stable and can accept and allow our pregnancy which is just coming in from the fallopian tube to implant on the endometrial lining and then support it so that the pregnancy would continue and if there is no pregnancy well it just lets loose that endometrium and grows a new one a common question i get asked is what happens to the unfertilized egg well the fertilized or unfertilized eggs are very very small and an unfertilized egg will just dissolve away probably in the fallopian tube so no harm done so in the next capsule we'll discuss what is a period so as usual please do click like please uh, comment and don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so that when the next capsule comes up you will be notified All right. Okay, bye.